Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Poor Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Well, I've looked all around the world this week looking at various people's auditions and, uh, well, I'll replicate one. There was one in the United States I picked up, it took place in uh, Seattle, and uh, it went something like this. Hi, I'm John. I've come for the reading. You'll have to excuse me, John. I'm not in my native South Africa right now. But okay, but I do like meeting Americans and welcome to the audition for the lead in the South African film, Johnny's Home. Well, I heard that and I thought the best thing I could do was turn up 10 minutes early. That's always good. Well, that is the protocol in this city. Am I right about that? That's a good sign to be coming at that time. Well, alrighty. Yes, that's a fantastic thing. Well done. Well done. That's good. Go for it. Okay. Of course, I have no idea of the outcome of the audition. I just happen to have a webcam that tuned into that particular one. A few days later, I flew back to the United Kingdom uh, and went up to Scotland. And lo and behold, I saw another audition. Uh, this one was quite well, phenomenal, to say the least. Watch and learn. Are you Hamish? Yeah! That's right! Hello! Yeah! My agent told me to come along and see you right here and now. That's right! Am I on time, am I? Sorry about this. Practicing for the World Welterweight Championship, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. I'll come here with you. I'm not like that. That's better. Anyway, what are you going to do for us? I hope you don't even mind. I'm going to do a modern piece and then a Shakespearean piece. Is that right? Okay, you ready? Good. Yet again, ladies and gentlemen. I've no idea of the outcome of that particular audition. Nevertheless, I'm here. Anyway, back to reality. I had an audition this week up in Liverpool, and I managed not to go into my Scouse accent right here and now. It was like fantastic. I kept the rhythm stuck in my head, but didn't do it. Kept the um, standard received pronunciation at bay. One next week, believe it or not, just across the way in Manchester. Looking forward to doing that. Anyway, it's a stage piece. That's it. First time in many, many months I've not done a screen audition. And oh, the apologies for the absence, by the way. Uh, I've been busy writing a two-hour say an American screenplay that I'm trying to get launched and into production for 2020. Managed to get down to uh, Croydon as well for an audition. An information film. They weren't paying a great deal of money, but at the same time I thought, yes, why not? So strange how auditions vary from one to one to one. You can't learn a thing from the last one, which will happen you for the next one, unfortunately. <laughs> Unlike normal interviews where you can. Let me show you what happened at the uh, Croydon one. Hello, <laughs> I'm Jeff. I've come for the audition for the information film. Are you Boris? Yes, that's right. I think I've seen you. You are, aren't you? I've got four properties. Oh, seriously? One down here? You obviously didn't know about that, did you? <laughs> Amazed. Well, we don't like to talk about such things. Being politicians, you've heard they're all them. Well, <laughs> not to put too fine a point on it. Professional liars. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, we'll proceed. Of course. Proof, if ever there was one, that auditions vary from place to place. <laughs> so there you are. That's it for this week's episode of the Paul Innocent channel and what it's like to really be an actor.